Many people now, experts, analysts, the Afghans themselves, continue to point the finger of blame at Pakistan. What's Pakistan's role and responsibility in all of this? Well, Pakistan, of course, um, has lived with this challenge for many years. I mean, ever since the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. And the reality, of course, is that they've got between one and a half and three million Afghan refugees on their soil. Um, and they have had for many, many years now. So from their perspective, they are absolutely uh, invested in whatever the outcome is going to be. And certainly in my engagements with my Pakistani opposite number, General Bajwa, you know, I'm in no doubt that he is very genuine when he says that he wants a, a stable and moderate Afghanistan on his northern border, because of course that will contribute to stability in Pakistan as well. And the intelligence that comes out that says that the Pakistanis have sanctuaries and have created a safe haven for much of the leadership of the Taliban, including the Haqqani network. Again, I think you have to always look at things from other people's perspectives. And one of the challenges the Pakistanis, of course, have is with so many Afghan refugees on their soil, which I think we would be very um, worried about if they heartlessly kicked them out. The reality is, of course, they're going to end up, aren't they, with uh, all sorts of people in amongst those refugees. So it's quite challenging for them, I think, to be able to uh, prevent that from happening. Now, the fact that they have built a fence now along the border and they are trying to control the movement back and forth across that border is, I would have thought, a step in the right direction. But it is a much more complicated problem. It's essentially...